Disney presents... From Frontierland... With Stetson so white and a pearl-handled gun swinging on his side. Texas John Slaughter made them do what they honor cause if they didn't, they died. A turned up white Stetson and a pearl-handled gun. My friend Stan Jones has written a song about them. I want you to hear it. Stan? His turned up white Stetson and pearl-handled gun were known both far and wide. With Stetson so white and a pearl-handled gun swinging on his side. Texas John Slaughter made them do what they honor, cause if they didn't, they died. In Texas, a ranger he had to become, and outlaws he defied. Oh, Texas John Slaughter made them do what they honor, cause if they didn't, they died. His turned up white Stetson and pearl and gun were known both far and wide. Were known both far and wide. John Slaughter, a true hero of the West. Now that's for sure, Walt. You know, he was a co-founder of Douglas, Arizona, my hometown. You know something else? When I was born, he was at my christening. Is that right? You know, I have a personal interest in John Slaughter, too. A research department discovered that when Mrs. Slaughter died in 1942, among her personal effects were 100 shares of Walt Disney production stock. Well, what do you know? That just goes to show that this old West that we talk about is not so old after all. That's right. It's only yesterday in this young country of ours. Yes, John Slaughter was quite a man. Our song says, he made men do what they utter, cause if they didn't, they died. Well, that's the songwriter's way of saying that John Slaughter used his six guns to establish law and order in this young country of ours. Now, in the first of this series of programs about this great man of the West, you'll see how he became a Texas Ranger. It's titled, Texas John Slaughter. said put it down. Lay it down. Hey, mister, I mean that 
was beautiful. Did you see that, Mayor? I certainly did. Young fellow, welcome to Frio Town. Well, I never would have guessed it from that reception. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how grateful we all feel. Would you mind telling me who they are? Well, that one is Blackman and the other is Scully. Blackman, Scully? I never saw them before in my life. Why'd they gun me? They're the ones. What ones? Well, they're the ones that shot the sheriff. That's why we sent for you. You sent for me? It was Will's idea. He said it would take a ranger to handle those two boys. <laughs> was I right? Ha <laughs> ha! No. I'm the ranger you sent for. Ben Jenkins, Company F. Well, who are you? My name's John Slaughter. You're, you're not a ranger? No. Why are you wearing that white hat? Because I want to. <laughs> What's the matter with it? Nothing at all. Except it happens to be the trademark of the Texas Rangers. We've been wearing them since the governor reorganized us last spring. <sighs> no, I understand. I'd appreciate it if you'd let me buy you some fresh shells for the... for the ones you used up. Fair enough. How'd you like to make $40 a month? Good grub. The state will give you a free carbine, and if you lose your horse, they'll give you $100 to buy a new one. You mean join the Rangers? No, thanks. I had my fellow fighting during the war. I am to be a cattleman. Around here? Yep. I've already got the land. As soon as I get some cattle, I'm bringing my girl over from Pleasant. We're going to get married. Well, I got some bad news for you. What's that? This whole area has run crazy with rustlers and gunmen. Honest ranchers don't last. I can take care of myself. That's what they all say. John, if you're going to settle down around here, you'll think twice about joining us. Bad as that, huh? Yep. Well, where I was brought up, we had Indian raids. Here it's wrestlers, same thing. Then I can't talk you into it. Afraid not. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you, Ben. If you should change your mind, we're camped outside of Fowlerton. Right. That's it. One hundred dead. Here's your money. How much obliged. How far are you taking these steers? Over to Frio County. I bought the old Harrison place. The Harrison place? Yes, sir. I got that whole section, creek and all. And for a good price. Son, there's no such thing as a good price for any ranch in Frio County. Let's take him home. Yep. That'll get us a couple of good shotguns. Are you expecting trouble? Well, I don't know. I saw strangers again out of the West Range. When I rode to them, they started off. Shotguns sound like a good idea. I think so. Now there was Duffy and the Vale family, and then Joe Varney and a fellow named uh, Quill. That makes you the fifth owner. Five owners in two years? That's right. Of course, the first two just packed up and left, and then Joe Varney got shot dead, and that fellow Quill. Well, 
No one was ever sure about him. He just sort of vanished one day along with his whole herd. Well, what's the matter? I don't know. I just got a feeling. <laughs> your herd, mister. <laughs> well, now, maybe I can save you a lot of trouble. That's an awful big herd. But first off, who are you? My name is John Slaughter. Slaughter? Well, there's another stain. Hate to stain this. It's real effort. From Africa. Just what is it you're looking for, Mr. Slaughter? Somebody killed my hired hand and ran off with a hundred head of my cattle. You think maybe you'll find them here? I don't know. Looks like some kind of gravy stain. You accuse a man of rustling, that can be serious. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm only demanding a cattleman's right to inspect a herd. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I don't know anything about your man being killed, but if my herd moved past your place, Entirely possible some of yours mixed in with mine. Now, you will take a look. You see any of yours, just cut them out. Brad, go see how many men come with him. Spot one with his brand on it. Yeah, that's true. All right, go ahead. I'd like to be a Texas Ranger. Yes, sir. He's good in a fight. That's so? 
How do you rate yourself? Well, that's kind of hard to say. You tell me who I'm fighting. Let's see your heart. I'll tell you if I find it. A range is no better than his mouth. It's a fine animal. Well cared for. It's like my horse got in. Where are you from? I'm from Texas. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Too bad? It means I won't be able to use you. You don't take Texans and the Texas Rangers? Not in my unit. What's the matter? Some Texan whip you in a fight once? Oh, lots of them. Sean, I don't want to put any man in a position where he might have to arrest relatives or friends. I'm the head of this company, and that's my decision. Well, that may be your decision, but I made up my mind to be in the Rangers, and then the Rangers I'm going to be. What makes you so sure? Because I already got me a white hat, that's why. Come on inside. What do you think of your new family? A motley crew? We've got rangers from Connecticut, Virginia, Georgia, even a Scotsman. But well, we never figured to have a Texan. He's a Texan? Nah, uh, he doesn't talk loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, a formation? It's the only one we answer to. Grub. No formations? We're not that kind of an outfit. What about drilling? If a man can ride and shoot, he knows all he has to. Come on, let's eat. Go ahead, Lenny. Remember what I told you. Take it slow. Nice and slow. You mean that's the wrong way? You're dead wrong.
Drop your guns, all of you. Now get moving. Well, at least this takes care of part of the Davis gang. I owe you an apology. I misread your detour. How would you boys like to attend the 4th of July celebration? Is this business or pleasure? Business. The Davis gang will be there. I want you to arrest one of them. Sam Barrett. Sam? That's right. Sam Barrett's a Texas Ranger. He's worked his way into the Davis gang, and I want him arrested publicly so we can talk to him without their catching wise. Oh, so that's what Sam's been doing. What do we arrest him for? Anything at all. Just make it look good. That's all. Yes, sir. What's the matter? Well, can't you get that brim to sit down? We're going into town. Ain't my idea. It's the hats. See? If I didn't know you better, I'd swear you were one of those New York cowboys. There, what's so hard about that? There now. Nobody's gonna make that hat do anything it don't want to do. But I guess it's got the right man wearing it. My daddy used to say, if a man keeps his hat, the hat will take care of itself. John, who are you looking for, did you say? John Slaughter. Never heard of him. Never? Oh. No, I think he's down in St. Louis fighting Indians. Oh. Well, I never thought I'd see a pretty little thing like that in a ranger camp. Neither did I, that's my girl. Johnny, who did you say? Hey, Annie. What, Johnny? What are you doing here? Looking for you. They tried to tell me you were in Mexico. I'll bet they did. Johnny, I'm so happy to see you. Me too. surprised to see you. I'm gonna be here a week. Aunt Jane's with me. Well, how'd you get your father to let you come? Oh, I have my ways. Oh, you surely do. <laughs> and you didn't think I was gonna let the Rangers have you without a fight. John, I hate to intrude, but we've got some business to attend to. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Eddie. I got to go. While you're at it, you might uh, introduce me to your visitor. Oh, uh, Eddie, this is my friend Ben Jenkins. Miss Adeline Harris. Pleased to meet you. My pleasure, ma'am. You ready? Yep. I'm sorry I have to take him away from you. So am I. I imagine it's something I'll have to get used to, though. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Abby. In uh, case you're interested, I'm staying at the hotel. I'll stop by later. All right, driver. What's going on? Stand in front of me. I just got a note from Sam. If you're going to arrest me, start a fight. I think one of the gang is on to me. Come on. There's Sam, by the shooting gallery. 
Now, how are we going to get a real brawl going? Hey, what do you think? Just count out $300, mister. What? $300 or I put a hole in that fancy vest of yours. For what? For 100 head of cattle at $3 a head. Yeah, now I remember. Slaughter, isn't it? That's right. Now what? Now you get out of town. If I could prove you killed my hired hand, you'd ride over your saddle face down. Nobody talks to my boss that way. <laughs> Sure, he's a ranger? Sure. Well, he hits like a mule. Say, that fellow you picked on, mm -hmm. the home with a fancy vest. You know who he is? Well, sure, he's the fellow that ran off with my cattle. But you don't know his name? Nope. Well, for your information, that happens to be Frank Davis. Ask anyone to name the three toughest men in the whole Southwest, and I'll guarantee he'll be on every list. He's the number one man we're after. Well, why didn't we arrest him? Well, we don't have any evidence. That's where Sam comes in. Mr. Slaughter's beginning to bother me. Beginning to bother me a lot. Put Sam and the rest of them in jail. What the devil's wrong with Sam? Pick that fight. This explains it. Where'd you get this? In the fight off a ranger? Saw Sam slip it to him. Knowing what Sam knows, he could really hurt us if he ever got to court. Know something? I don't think he will. Telegraph Laredo, I'm coming. A special way? The special way. Bill, you take the boys here and start from this end. One of us could take care of Sam. Oh, no. <laughs> I always correct my own mistakes. And after I lost the cattle, there was no sense in keeping the ranch, so I sold it. And joined the Rangers. If the Rangers can't bring law to this territory, nobody can, Addie. Do you intend to stay in the Rangers until this whole area is cleared up? Providing you wait for me. I guess you know the answer to that. <sighs> Marry me now, Addie. No. Why? Why not? Because when we get married, I don't intend to share you with anyone. Not even the Texas Rangers. I better go in now. Yeah. Good night. Good night.
What happened? Found a shotgun, Sam Barrett. Got up through the jail window. Now it was dark. Are you sure it was Frank Davis you saw? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Look, smoke down there in the trees. All right, split up, men. Drop your gun. What's this all about? What do you want from us? Easy now, just drop those guns. How many times do I have to tell you? We haven't seen Davis since yesterday. That's the truth. Your own ranger here told Frank to get out of town. Davis left right after that. He had to be in Laredo this morning. All right, take him away. Well, why don't you check Laredo? Go on. They're lying. John. If we go looking for the wrong man, the real killer gets a good head start. Now, are you absolutely certain? It was Davis. I saw him. Of course, if Davis rode out when you told him, he could be in Laredo by this morning. But if he shot Sam at midnight, nobody can go the 100 miles from here to Laredo in eight and a half hours. Look, Captain. I'll settle this quick. I'll telegraph the U.S. Marshal in Laredo. That'll tell us if Davis is there or not. Of course, if he is, Frank Davis is not in Laredo. Morning, Marshal. Sure is a wonderful world. Take this kilo of Fowlerton last night. That's over 100 miles away, yet here we are, able to read all about it, Laredo, at 9 o'clock the next morning. I mean, that's impressive. You're Frank Davis, aren't you? That's right. Thing like that. It's a shame. <laughs> yes, sir. I've just had word from Laredo. The U.S. Marshal there talked to Frank Davis personally at nine o'clock this morning. I still say it was Frank Davis I saw last night. You uh, doubt the Marshal's word? No. Then how did Davis get to Laredo so fast? I don't know. John, I'm going to tell you something. You're too stubborn for your own good. Now, let me finish. I grant you have good reason to hate Frank Davis. If your personal reasons interfere with your eyesight, then you're no good to the Rangers. Think about it. That's all. Yes, sir. May I say one thing before I go, sir? What is it? It was Frank Davis. So you 
think Frank Davis played Pony Express? Well, the whole thing strikes me as a lot of trouble. Of course, if a stubborn Texan is right, we've got Frank Davis. Now, each of you will be waiting with a fresh horse every 10 miles. We can send five of our best cross-country mounts out from here, and we'll rent five in Laredo. Clay, you'll have the first stop. Well, this is where Frank Davis started from. One minute to nine. Think he can be there by six? I hope so. I'm telegraphing the U.S. Marshal in Laredo that you're on your way, not to let Davis leave town. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Some fella in the Texas Rangers thinks he can ride a horse down here from Fowler Town in nine hours. Five hundred miles. He's loco. Says he's on his way right now. Nine hours? That's impossible. Even for a ranger. <laughs> Anybody laying on, she won't make it? Yeah, I'll take some. I'll give him ten to one. I'll take that yeah, 550. You got it. I'll get 10 to 1, too. 50 for me. Sure, right. put me down for five. Uh, look, look, I got to get this message to the marshal. Hold $25 for me. <laughs> Forty-seven miles in four hours. Feels more like 147. You're halfway. You keep going like this, you'll break the time by a full hour. If I don't get into trouble first. I think I've been around here long enough to make it look good. Let's clear out. Even a ranger couldn't make it in that time. <laughs> I don't care how good he is. Fred, station some men outside of town. Some at the bridge and some at the gap. We want to see who's going to try to leave. You've come to the wrong hotel. I brought one of my own. Now, there's just one thing. You're almost home, but keep an eye on the landscape the next three miles. It's rough country. Right. Good luck.
see you, all right, boy? Oh, baby. Hey, boy. Come on, fella. Come here, fella. Oh, come on now, boy. This ain't no time to play around. Here, boy. Hey, now, come on, you. Here, boy. Easy does it. Come on, boy. We haven't got all day. Come on, boy. Here, boy. Come on, you horse. Hey, boy. Hey, want some oats? Oats. Sure you do. Come on and get them. Save some of that energy, because you're going to need it. That man's just feeling too. Either he's innocent or... Or he's got an ace up his sleeve. Davis. There he is.
just wounded. That's too bad. Save the rest for the Fowler Town jury. All right, boys, take him away. And in conclusion, I want to say congratulations on a fine beginning. To what I hope will be a long and distinguished career in this outfit. Thank you, sir. Now that the captain's had a say, we'd like to express our appreciation for the wonderful job you did. Because of your brilliant deduction and steadfast belief which led to the capture of Frank Davis, we, the boys of Company F, would like you to accept this token of our esteem. You shouldn't have done that. Where are all these fellows? Who then? Why, they're the other 223 men of the Davis gang, still loose in the state of Texas. And John, they're all yours. <laughs> In Texas, a ranger he had to become, and outlaws he defied. Oh, Texas, John Slaughter made them do what they ought to, cause if they didn't, they died. He's turned up like Stetson and Quinn.